Hello guys, welcome back. So note the poster behind me, note the musical it's for, note the magnets, note all the chandeliers. Lately, I have not been going out of my way to look for it because, oddly enough, even though I decorate this way, I really don't pay attention to it or really think of the show or anything. I mean, like, I see it behind me, but it really doesn't cross my mind. Lately, I've been getting hit over the head with Phantom of the Opera references, and I don't want to give you my possible thoughts on it, because I want to see what you guys think. Um, there was something in one of those Reddit, you know, videos the other day. I was like, okay. Then I'm doing my puzzle book, and Phantom of the Opera is one of the answers. I'm like, okay. And somebody remarked on a Hermes video that had had the name Eric in it and you know it, it was on a coke bottle and you know that's the name of the phantom in the original novel I'm like okay then last night I had a ornament fall down crash and go everywhere and I'm like, okay, now, you know, I, I've tried to rationalize it away going, well, that's my stupid fault because I thought I had a hang of fabric and I must have just used a gum band. And I was like, I, I would have sworn on a stack of Bibles. I was using a piece of fabric too, but that thing, like, I heard a ching. And I, I looked around and I knew it wasn't one of these bulbs, so I, I didn't know where it was coming from. And then it crashed down. And I got to clean up glass last night. I ran the vacuum this morning. I cleaned off my stove. Um, I'm still looking around just to make sure there's no glass everywhere. So that was fun. And then there was another Phantom of the Opera reference in um, Reddit video today. And it's nothing I'm going out of my way to look for. And it's happened over the years. Now, I know it was a cultural phenomenon. I'm old as dirt. I remember it was a cultural phenomenon that we had all the movies and you had things like James Bond Jr. I used to run one of those scary fandom sites. So, uh, yeah, I know it was like in pole culture. It was a pole culture thing. It's just, it feels like somebody or something is trying to get my attention. And it, they're definitely using the fam of the opera for it. And I'm like, there's like 9 billion characters and side characters in that damn novel. Will you tell me who you mean for first off? I'm, I'm assuming Eric, but I don't know. Um, not Raul, I hate him. I wish he'd die in a fire. But <laughs> I, I, ne I never liked him. I just, I never did. Uh, especially like in the original, trans if you tr read the translations, basically he, he calls Christine, like he, he calls her a slut. And he's like, the only reason she has this fantastic singing career is she's sleeping around. I would have bitch slapped that man and I would have walked away, but I'm not for being aggressive. Anyhow, somebody is trying to send me a message about Fam of the Opera. I guess about Eric. I guess, like, I'm also getting these things like, you're ignoring me or something? And I'm like, what the actual hell? Why can't anybody that's divine just come up to me and speak English and go, Here's my name, this is why I think you're ignoring me, and this is why I think this is a totally obvious sign. I don't, I wouldn't relate it to any particular god, though I've had three or four gods claim all, claim, you know, stuff for themselves, so I don't know. I don't know. But I thought maybe you guys would be having some insight on that. I'm actually doing this the night before, and I'm like... This is really, somebody's really trying to get my attention at this point when I'm getting this much. And I'm getting all those repeated numbers too. So somebody's really jumping up and down and saying, hey, pay attention, pay attention, fam of the opera, it's really important. Is anyone else getting it? If a lot of us are getting it, it's either A, a low-key thing, or it's B, it's just one of those cultural phenomenons where something resurfaces and then all of a sudden everybody's talking about it. That could be it. That could totally be it. Um, I think it might have resurfaced for a nanosecond a year or so ago, so that could be it. That, you know, I can always explain stuff away, but it just, it felt, it felt weird. It felt like, you know, the rational person in me wants to say, well, the ornament just fell down and this is all coincidence, but I don't believe a coincidence. I'm like, the universe is jumping up and down and trying to get my attention unless this is a cultural thing and everybody's talking about it and I'm just not enough 
in touch with popular culture to realize this. I'm usually busy either running this channel or on Pinterest posting memes, so I would know. That's what I did all of 2020 to keep up morale. I posted memes. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know your thoughts below what you think it could be. It's just, it feels like somebody is trying to get my, my attention. And this happens in patterns. This is the second or third time this has happened, and I've even had, you know, dreams, which is unusual, because like I said, even though the poster's behind me, I totally blank it out. I can look at that poster, and I can look at those magnets every day of my life, and I really don't think about the musical. I'm not going around, you know, performing the libretto or anything. Um, and I don't know. I really don't. I'm looking at a mask I have up on the wall. It's totally not related to the Phantom. It's actually, I got Loki a bunch of masks, so. Um, I have no idea. Um, I don't know, but what do you guys think? So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, and subscribe. Feel free to comment below. It's really bothering me once I, I start getting little nuggets of information that I want to find out what it is. So, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.